video is for Good Friday. We Friday evening. And I may not have an ending to it, so I'm going to tell you right now. I hope you enjoy it. hope you hit the like button. hope you share it with someone. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't. Uh, today is Friday. Good Friday. And all, all, everybody, Christians know what Good Friday stands for to us. Okay? Now, uh, tell you a quick story about Good Friday. In 1990, on Good Friday, my old house, my old home, burned down. And I'm reminded of that well, a lot of times, but especially on Good Friday. And, uh, but it was a Good Friday. It was a Good Friday also because no one was hurt. Uh, it could have been tragic uh, as it was she was at work the girls were not here uh, in fact Kim was married uh, Lester and Dan had just come outside hadn't been outside long hipping me out behind the barn when we saw the house ablaze what if they had been inside we lost everything, except what we had on our back. And you know me, I probably wear some kind of ragged, <laughs> but that's all we had. But God blessed us. He blessed us over and over and over. Most because no one was hurt. And uh, he blessed us in rebuilding. And I can't say enough for that. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great Good Friday. I've got a busy day planned. Uh, I want to go down to the sanctuary and plant my tomatoes today. Today's the day that my dad always planted his gardens on Good Friday. Now, there were some things that he would watch the calendar for or watch the the moon for and stuff like that. But on Good Friday, most everything he planted got planted on Good Friday. But I'm going to put my tomatoes out today. And if I have time, I'll do some stuff out here in my old garden. That's just kind of a... I'm concentrating on a, on the sanctuary mostly. Uh, it's going to be awesome down there, I think. I'll plant some things out here for a quick... Run out and pick something real quick for a meal without going to harvest. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Uh, some stuff I did yesterday evening and today and this morning. Uh, here in a few minutes, I'm going to go out and do gifts and goodies. And we may talk a little bit more about it. some things we're going to do today there. I love you guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Is that her mom right here? Yeah, I'm gonna go get this girl. Good morning. There you go. Hey, Mama Cat. Beautiful day out there. I slept late this morning, guys. I get up at five every morning. This morning I slept into seven. <laughs> Seven o'clock. And boys are here. Uh, Lex and Connor both. And they're about to start their breakfast. This girl here had to have hers first. She has found that little opening in our front gate in the front porch for the little dogs to come in and out. She's found it. And yesterday, Kim comes in and not thinking, and she sees Kim, so she just comes right through that little hole, comes right on in. Kim don't close at the front door, and run in and jumped up on the couch. Oh, gee, went nuts. <laughs> we put her back out, closed the door. Oh, yeah, she's starting to just go wherever she wants to. 
it won't be long and she'll be moving over there with Ginger. There he is, kitchen. Right now she can go through those squares. Unless I roll that other wire out, I really just didn't want to do it, but I don't have to. But she can't stay on this back patio much longer. When you lay her out in the front yard, she gets into everything. But she's still little. You're still little, all right, baby? You're still little, Papa. That's it, kid. That's it. Seamus wants to go in for a little bit. So I'm gonna go start the boys breakfast. I'll do their bacon and their biscuits. <coughs> That'll say, uh oh. Don't eat so fast. Uh, I don't think I'll do eggs this morning unless they ask for them. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to. I'll finish my coffee. Well, there's their breakfast. Just waiting for them to come down and get it. <laughs> Two biscuits and a bunch of bacon for each one of them. Girl, you going with me? We're leaving. All right. Hey, guys. Good morning. Uh, Jed, I just got back from taking Woody and Buster to the vet. Now, Buster went because he had to get his rabies shot and be checked over. Uh, he has to have a checkup before he can start receiving his... Uh, uh, heartworm, flea, tick, medicine. You know, once a month pill. And so he had to have his checkup. Woody went because of the allergies, skin allergies. And the vet uh, said he also has allergies in his little eyes, you know, from the pollen, most likely the pollen and stuff. Uh, but he got some eye drops he got some uh, a shot for the allergies, in his, you know, irritating his skin. No fleas, but he also got the, you know, the heartworm, flea, uh, tick preventative pill he take once a month. And so did uh, we didn't have to take Bandit. We just picked his pill up, and we didn't have to take uh, Kippy. We just had to pick his pill up. Now. So they all got their pill for the month. And it's a monthly thing. Uh, unless they have a problem, they won't have to go back each month, you know. Now Woody, she says, uh, watch him, it's just the, the medicine she gave him, the shot he got today should kind of help clear him up and get him over this, but if it persists, you know, bring him back uh, in a couple of weeks. But hopefully, uh, he'll be fine. As she said, uh, there's just lots of pollen and dust in the air, you know, you know, between these dry spells we have, and it kind of irritates his eyes. But he's fine. Uh, then we come back by a jack in a box, and I got him a breakfast jack for his reward. And got uh, Coda Bear went with us. And Coda Bear, you know, she wanted some things in Jack in a box, and she wanted some stuff in Jack's box, and I got me uh, something in Jack in a box. So now we're back home, we're fixing to do our chores. Today I'm going to take firewood down to the to Camp Piety and start stacking that up so I don't have to leave it all the last day to do. And uh, I'm going to spray around those trees where we cut them vines so them vines don't grow back up on them trees. I'm going to spray around that. Besides that, we might not, might not do nothing. <laughs> might not do nothing. All right, let's get started feeding that. <laughs> I, I've got a handful. Look at here. I got a cold bear. I got a little man here. I got a little girl over here. Woody. And I got the Woody here. The Woody's here. And today, we put a windshield on here. So when we're riding, the wind won't blow dust in little Woody's eyes. Watch your foot. 
Hop off and get your shoe. Get off and get it. Hurry up. I'll wait for you. Nice no, not a bull. Get off. Coda Bear, get her shoe, please. Look at Coda Bear. She ain't scared. Okay, get back on there. Now turn your feet around this way and you won't be losing shoes. Silly girls. What do you think, Bubba? They're silly girls. One losing the shoe, the other has to get off and get it because she's scared of bulls. That's not a bull, that's a princess and her baby. That's not a bull. That's not a bull. <laughs> uh, Bree had to go to the store for something. So these babysitting, I said, give them to me for a little bit. I'm going to take them for a ride. Give you a break. Now they made a little windshield. It's kind of a flexible thing. And it makes things kind of blurry in a way. You know what I'm saying? So that's the video out the side. It's a beautiful day. Not a, not a cloud. Not a cloud nowhere. Well, I got three clouds right here. A little cloudy, a little cloudy one, a little cloudy two, one, two, and three. And not little Woody. Little Woody had a shot this morning, so he's not really up to socializing a lot. I'm glad uh, I've set the little goggles because of the man said, you know, when he's out, this dust and pollen. You might get you a little pair of goggles. I said, I have a pair of goggles. They were sent to Woody. And he puts them on now and then. She wouldn't let him put him on more often if it's pollen and, and dust around. You know? Woody's kind of bug eyed. And, and the dust and stuff gets in his eyes, really. And it causes little allergic reactions. coming Easter morning for breakfast and an Easter egg hunt. Would that be fun? Yes. I love Easter egg hunt. You love Easter egg hunt? This is what's going to happen right here. This is called Camp Heidi. Can you say that? Camp Heidi. Camp Heidi. Coda Bear, can you say Camp Heidi? Camp Heidi. There you go. What about you, Bubba? Bubba, you say Camp Heidi? Yeah. Say it. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. That's close enough. All right, boys and girls, get out for a minute. Y'all get out for a minute. Put this in that swing. Hey, come here. Put this in that swing. Y'all sit on it. Okay. Oh, yeah, doing a good job right there. Now, hop up on there. All right. First children to swing at Camp Patty. <laughs> Look at this one. The first little girl to sit in that chair at Camp Patty. <laughs> I love it, baby. Yeah, I'm going to bring that wood down. I got something stacked up to put right here by the fire pit. I was telling Ben, we'll probably set our table up right in this area here in our chairs. And uh, people want to sit around the fire pit can, is, but the tables will have all the stuff we're going to eat and stuff on it. Ben did a good job here, guys. Uh, I'm going to come down when I bring the firewood. I'm going to spray these little vines that's trying to, that will try to grow back and kill them so that'll stay kind of cleaned out. And I'm going to bring my little chainsaw. i got a couple little bitty trees over there I want to cut that cut out of here. 
that Dan didn't get to. And uh, my little chainsaw I've sent as a gift. We're going to try it out. Anyway, we'll get that cleaned up. Oh, everything else, Ben did a good job on everything else. I may take my little chainsaw or clippers either one and cut them little bit of weeds over there or some sticking up over there. Get them kind of knocked down and spray that also. And the rest of us going to be fine. I hope as these kids will grow up down here and come here when they're grown ups and but make memories of this place. And uh, hopefully they'll see the videos like this when they get older. And see, so there we was, our old great grandpa. <laughs> and uh, they'll show their children. That'd be something awesome. My mom used to talk about making memories. Uh, she had planted a, a tree or a bush or something, or something, and bring a plant for your yard or something, and plant it. Just, I'm making memories. And, and she was. Uh, she planted a bunch of mums along my driveway, and they come out every year, beautiful. And she, when she planted them, I said, "What are you doing, mom? I'm making memories for you." Yeah, you did. You sure did, mom. Most of the trees planted around the cemetery was with her and Lester. Lester's always been. Uh, the cemetery caretaker. He he volunteered. He wanted to do it by himself. He wanted to do it on his own, and he did. Did a great job for years and years and years. Now that he's moved, uh, some of the rest of us are going to have to kind of step up to the plate and and help out because now I think Joanne's trying to do it. Aunt Joanne and uh. All of us are still right there on top of the place, right on top. We need to, you know, Lester shouldn't have to drive all the way over here to the cemetery, you know, once a month. So we're all going to have to kind of chip in and get that done. Anyway, that's, that's making memories with these kids. And, uh, yeah, they'll be telling our kids, yeah, that's me making all that noise. <laughs> yeah, that would be. I was with my papa and Kippy and Woody. Lester is going to pick up Lex today. Today's Thursday. Uh, tomorrow is Good Friday. School's out on Good Friday. Lex will be here. Or with the else or his dad. He'll be here. He should be here for Easter morning for sure for Easter egg hunt. Uh, I don't know how he split the weekend up. That Whichever. Uh, we, we plan on picking him up. Uh, he, Lester called G last night, said, I'm going to pick Lex up. Don't y'all worry about going. And so, you know, we, we always plan on it. He said, yeah, but I, I want to go pick him up, you know. Uh, what, baby? You got to go pee? Yeah. <laughs> Girls. Us old boys, we'd walk out there behind a tree. <laughs> or, or not. not. If we, it doesn't matter if it's a tree here or not. We'd let it rip. <laughs> All right, hey, y'all got to come on. She got to go pee. Oh, boy, girls, I don't know why I get stuck with girls. Come on, Bubba. We got to take these girls back home. They got to go pee. <laughs> anyway, he's going to pick Lex up, so uh, I'm going to do some work down here so I get rid of all these little guys. I can't. I don't want to spray around them. Uh, I don't want to spray when they're here with me. And I'll bring out wood when I come to spray. Uh, I come on the other side. Other side, Bubba. Other side. Come on, Bubba. Get out of here, Bubba. Let Bubba on. You should. Eat. Come on, Bubba. Right up in here. Can you get it? Scoot this way, baby. Let Bubba get on. Come on, Bubba. Scoot up here. Big boy. Oh, yeah. Big boy. <laughs> okay, guys. We got to go for a pee break. <laughs> I don't know what she does. Knock all the air off, baby. It just makes things, you know. I mean, I can see through it good, but you can't, uh, you can't video through it without seeing kind of a, you know, ripple, a ripple effect. Stark. That's a stark. You know that? 
Maybe somebody's gonna have a baby. <laughs> yeah. That shark's bringing a baby to somebody. got left <laughs> uh, I've got this wood here and I'm gonna stack it here and I didn't bring the little kids back they wanted to stay but I brought another little girl back with me uh, she's here she don't need uh, to take potty breaks she just goes where she wants to. <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys are probably tired of seeing that. I'm going to stack this wood up here. I have it. May not be here long because Moses and having either one are likely to come ahead and walk over here and say, uh, we don't need that. We don't need that wood stack here, Papa. We don't need wood stack. <laughs> uh, 
I gave Woody that little shot today and it's uh he don't feel too good after a shot. Now I know what he's I know what he means. Yeah, I know how to you. I've had shots. I don't like them either. Uh the little kids did oh yeah, they didn't want to come back. They they stayed and uh I traded those three for my little girl, Bootsy. She said, there's room for me now, Popo. I'm riding. So, anyway, I'm fixing to go back home, and uh, G's got three of them. That's going to be quite a handful. And I brought them, may give her a little bit of a break, because I don't know how long Bree will be gone. <laughs> you know, Bree, uh, oh, I got caught in traffic, and... And uh, I had to sit somewhere. And I got in a long line at the counter to check out. And <laughs> there would be, be a list of excuses. But gee, don't mind. And uh, my allergies have bothered me today, too, outside. I come outside this morning. I find in the house we have that air purifier in there I come out it's got to mess around outside it was no time my eyes was itching about like Woody I should have told that vet just well, give me a shot too why why you got Woody in here anyway guys we're gonna head on back home I want to stack that wood I did bring my sprayer because I thought I was gonna have them kids with me and at the last minute they all saw G outside they want to get off and stay with G so I'll come back after a while this afternoon for some time and I'll spray them old uh, briars before they come. We, ben and I cut them all down almost to the ground. They will come back out in all the old thorns all over them. We'll spray them try to kill them out. And I'll bring my little saw and cut the cut two of the little trees out of here. All right, guys, we're going to cut this off. I'm going to sit here and swing for a little bit before I go. It's a nice, beautiful day. May take it out. G said, where you been? <laughs> I want to sleep, G. <laughs> I hope mean, she can go for that. All right. I'll do I just kick it back and she says she'll come kick back too. She uh yeah. Uh, put that down. Yeah, we ain't gonna now you're trying to wave at people. You wave it at people. Uh, you don't wave that in. <laughs> uh. Well, you know we're eating a leaf. I saw you. About time for a bottle, Ed. About time for that noon, noon, noon bottle. Yeah. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. We had a lot of fun out there. Y'all seen that video out there with Gidget, Mary Ann, and Ginger. Ginger's a sweet little girl. She just wants to love. Mary Ann wants to fight. <laughs> just give me, I'm going to fight. And those three out there in that pen have so much fun. And I, this one will be living with those two when she gets older. Can't live on the back patio. No, you're not going to live on the back patio. She's got roses out there. <sighs> so when she gets older and gets weaned off the bottle, I'm sure that's where she'll be going to live with those guys. Uh She's actually a lot of fun. And she loves to ride. She loves to play. Loves to get in your lap. She likes love time. She likes love time. Well, I don't know if that was love or not. Push it on me. It may be love. It may be love. All right, guys, we're going to get home, okay? Woody, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's take this Woody. Let's take this Woody home with us. There's two Woodies right here. Two Woodies. <laughs> All right, we got to go, guys. Let's go, little girl. Let's go, son. Come on. Let's go, Kip. You ready? Pop balls ready. We'll come back. Spray that stuff, sir. Let's go. 
Come on, Wood. All right, we ready. My crew's ready. This is this is my crew, folks. This is this is Papa's crew right here. Yeah, my crew. We ain't got Ivan. Thank goodness, see, he didn't see us. <coughs> Ivan didn't see us. Let's go. Those crap stuff all in this stuff. So I don't come back. You shove it over. No, don't run off now. No, sir. Yeah, I saw you, baby. I saw you. I know. I'm so sorry, Pop. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I know you didn't. I know you didn't mean to. That's <laughs> always messing with them. And I gotta go home right now. When I come back to work, I'll give you treats. You already eat twice. Yeah, I saw it. He got caught red-handed. Yeah, he got caught red-handed. Upset that he got caught. Oh, no, Paw Paw. Where you come from? I don't know if you can see that turtle. Not having a sucker Walking across that yard. He's getting scared to death of it. Bubba, after he run over here, got in my lap. He, he's Carter, in my lap. Carter, he's after a, he's a bump on. He's a turtle. A turtle. A turtle. That turtle ain't gonna get you, buddy. You're on the porch with Pawpaw. A turtle. Yeah, a turtle ain't gonna get you. What's out there? What's out there in that yard? Uh, a turtle. A what? A turtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a turtle. He can't get you. You're up here with Pawpaw. I'm not gonna let him get you. Okay? Okay. 